Hey, Spoken videos here, and today we got a domination game on mission. we using the ACR with Red Dot Silencer, went 43 and 1. Awesome game. Uh, it's something like that. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. Anyways, this commentary, our topic's gonna be about our top 10 favorite video games. Uh, five different, not necessarily top 10, but like top five from Xbox and top, top five, five from Nintendo, Nintendo and any like system. So Xbox, Xbox 360, and then like GameCube, Nintendo yeah. 64, so on. Anyways, we didn't, we decided not to do PS3 because none of us have ever owned yeah. a PS3, and so it, w it wouldn't be really, it wouldn't be a really good list. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, anyways, Nintendo, we'll start off number five, Super, Super Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers, and I was just Brother? <laughs> Brothers. Bro, we gotta like. What? <laughs> like, well, you said bro. Oh, oh I said bro. You gotta get the sink yeah, in there. Yes, Ah, okay, anyway, yeah. Super Smash Brothers is... Bros. Whatever. <laughs> it's an awesome game, basically. You can just... It's just an awesome game, basically. Because you can just play it's as anyone. Game. You can just... You just hit things, basically. Yeah. There's not really any strategy to it. And it's... Yeah, it's just one of the most... Well, I guess you could be, like, one of the people that memorize all the things to do, well, but... Be one of those guys. One of those guys. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, awesome game. Anyways, number four. Anyways. Anyways. You say anyways a like lot, a lot. lot. I've got to do. Anyways. <laughs> number four. Zelda. Zelda. We couldn't pick one, so we just said Zelda in general. Yeah, so any game. My yeah. personal favorite would be the Ocarina of Time. I got to say. Wait, no. Continue. Because you said Ocarina of Time. Got, that's, okay. Yeah, because you that's. Because. <laughs> you said because. You want to finish your sentence. Because. I, it's just my favorite game, and because, actually, just because. No, okay. it's actually the only Zelda game I've played, unfortunately, oh, oh, okay. so it kind of has to be my favorite. So. Okay, Maybe my favorite see. would probably be, um, probably Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. I, I just liked yeah. it because it was, um, I know one, my first Zelda game for the GameCube I got was that, like, cartoon one. Yeah. Like the, uh... Major no, not, um, not Majora's Mask. Uh, no, why did I say that? Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Okay. And so, I really liked that one, and Twilight Princess was the first one that was, like, realistic. Not, well, when I say realistic, not cartoon. Like, okay, more yeah, I got Realistic you. graphics kind of thing. Anyways, yeah. yeah, Zelda is just fantastic. It's mm -hmm. just one of those games you cannot beat in the first, like couple days of playing it like pretty much any game nowadays it's just it took forever to be one of those games and which is enjoyable and a pain sometimes but anyways number three number three i'll let you take this one over okay number three we got banjo kazoo oh yeah yeah i haven't played it i thought you said you played it for half an hour oh, half an hour okay. when i was like six years old or one thing that uh, i really <laughs> liked it was it kind of reminded me of mario but it was it was a little bit different as in it was like you were a bear <laughs> yeah, you're a bear, and you had like this bird that like nice. helped you walk around. And um, I really liked it because there was the main, I guess, area of the I think it was the witch's like cave or something. Mm -hmm. But then it was like uh, the old Mario 64 where you could yeah. go to other worlds and you could you could ask people. I know some people would give you little like things to do, like oh, go get this jigsaw puzzle underneath yeah. this ship, and just pretty much any. Of the really popular Nintendo games, are they're kind of linked somehow. They're always those like just really long, yeah, yeah, puzzle games, puzzle, something yeah. like that. But anyways, they are really enjoyable to play. And number two, number two, Decom Racing. Decom Racing. Now, I, see, I, I wish I knew the two, so you go, you know, sing. I told, I haven't played that game in like. I need to get my like, N64 out. I haven't played Nintendo 64 in like ten, like at least seven or eight years. Mm. I just, I don't really, I don't. It's just, you get new console and you don't want to really go back to the old one because you're so used to the new consoles. But anyways, Diddy Kong Racing was just an amazing game. Basic, Just, just amazing. Like, it, was like, it was like an older version of Mario Kart, basically. Yeah. And it was just, a, again, like Nintendo games are just really long because... Well, it wasn't an older version of Mario Kart because Super Nintendo had Mario Kart. Did they? Oh yeah, they yeah. did. Even the Super... Did you see Super Nintendo? Yeah, Super Nintendo. Okay, I thought, you, yeah. Super Nintendo. I actually played that. That's actually really fun. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it's one of those games where even if you beat it, you can basically... I know, I still remember if you beat the game, I think you can do every other level again, but you have to get, like, silver so, coins. Yeah. So it's like you have to beat the whole game, like, mm -hmm. twice in a row. And it's, it was just an amazing game. I just loved how you had, like, three, just three different vehicles you could choose yeah, from. Yeah. Land, air... And, and the water, hover boat, water, yeah, yeah, hover, we'll hover whatever yeah. thing. The thing, of the thing that goes on water, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Okay. The big number one, in our opinion. 
This is Super this Mario is, yeah, World. Super Mario World. Oh, and sorry, the other thing is, I this is our opinion. Like, I've every time I go to like some list game, everyone's just like, "Oh, you guys got the order wrong." I can't believe that's ahead of that. And where's yeah. this game? And it's like, this is our opinion. Like, I'm sorry if you don't have a game that you really like. It's no that's offense. Right, it's just our opinion. So, anyways, number one, as you're saying, Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Although for me, I guess it would pretty much be any Mario game. Yeah, I mean, Super Mario much, World was it, my favorite. Yeah. It, well, my favorite. Mm -hmm. But any like Mario Party, Mario Party, as you were saying Mario. earlier. But we kind of looked at every Mario game, and we just kind of assumed, okay, Super Mario World is that's basically what it, got it, Mario just yeah. going. Like that was just an amazing. I loved it. Yoshi. Fantastic. Yeah. I loved Yoshi. It was just one of those games that. You just pretty much have to at least try, basically. It's just, yeah. Bucket Anyways, list. that was our Nintendo list. And on to the Xbox. On to Xbox. Yes. Number That's five. Right. Well, this is kind of number five and number four at the same time. The Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Like, yeah. I don't know what it order. Started with, just, well, I think, pretty well, much the same. Guitar Hero spot, and Guitar say, I, I think on the spot, I'd say Guitar Hero would be number five. And yeah, because Rock Band had every instrument. Everything had drums. Guitar bass and yeah. guitar just and guitar vocals, hero. Yeah, yeah vocals. Vocals. <laughs> it's fun to just belt away vocals, but you, you don't really. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, you could, you could, yeah. you didn't even have to like do the actual notes. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, guitar. I remember the first time I played that at a friend's house. I was hooked on it because it was kind of like it was basically like a new game, basically because it wasn't like you just use a controller. You actually you had like a plastic An guitar and. You know, it felt like you're actually playing the guitar, which it's nowhere near playing the guitar. Yeah. But although, have you seen Rocksmith? No, they just released it where you can like plug your own guitar in. You oh yeah, I, notes. didn't Rock Band Three you can do that? I I, I don't know, I think but I think it's so some, like something like that. But drums is kind of similar. Like if you're really good at drums, you, it can it can kind of relate yeah. in the same way. Dude, Cause as long as you get the proper beats. The down problem with me is that I it, for me I'm just. It, it takes time for me to like yeah. look at what's coming, like the notes that are coming, or it's like, what, what, what are, oh, okay. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, so those games are just fantastic. Number five and four, awesome games. Yeah. Anyways, number, number three, three. Morrowind. And that is the third, I believe, in the Elder Scrolls yes. series. And we could have pretty much just had like the whole list, just Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls. like three, four, five, but. More we wanted to pick we, like older games. Yeah, we chose that because it's older, and right. technically, it's the first Elder Scrolls game I played, and it's the one that got me hooked on the Elder Scrolls series. So mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't be playing Oblivion or Skyrim if it wasn't for Morrowind and just how awesome it was. Because for its time, it was just an absolutely fantastic game. Is the graphics for its time obviously were just unbelievable, and I I kind of lost interest in it at times because. I played it like years ago, and I wasn't so great with the whole quest and just yeah. yeah and then it, it got kind of difficult at times, but it was still a really fun game to play at that time. And number three, yeah, Morrowind. Yeah, for me, uh, Oblivion is what introduced me to uh, Elder Scrolls, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know. I, I played Oblivion a long time ago. Yeah. Like, when, like the first like year came out, and then when I was at your house, actually, I'm like, oh, that's this game. Yeah. But anyways, number two, Left 4 Dead, Dead one, and Left 4 Dead two. Only one. No. Left 4 Dead one. Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead one was like that that game that just gave you the adrenaline rush, yeah. and just it was. But also for me, like, after playing it like every day, yeah, it the adrenaline got rush went away. But. It took a while for me to get bored of that mm -hmm. game, and Left 4 Dead 2 was just, I don't know, it just Failure. wasn't the same. Just I, I think it's just because they made it, like, more daytime. Yeah, and it just, I don't know, it wasn't as scary, because you kind of got used to the whole, like, tanks and yeah. all that idea, so... And then they added more monsters. Yeah, but anyways, number one, in our opinion, best Xbox, Xbox 360 game, Fable 1. Fable. It's just not so much. Oh, our game's pretty much over here. Let's wrap this up. Anyways, yeah. Fable two and three. I haven't. I've played two. It was good, but f I haven't played Fable three yet, so I can't really say that. But Fable one, it was just the although the, the graphics weren't the best, it worked like that. The cartooniness of yeah. it worked. It was just the funnest game. I was addicted to that game for so long, and that's why we I think got to end this commentary. Yeah, and that's why I think it's the best <laughs> Xbox game. Anyways, that's our list. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Hope you enjoy our next videos. Peace. Peace.